Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your time and your viewership, it means a lot. So here we have a fragrance that just came out. It's a 2021 release. This one by the brand Cartier is called Luxuriance, part of the Riviere line. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Luxuriance by Cartier, and I tell you all about this fragrance, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And while you're at it, if you can enable notifications and give this video a thumbs up, it would really mean a lot to me. Before I start, I do want to give a shout out to my friend Chris from the channel Casual Fragrances. This is actually his bottle. He shipped it over to me so that I can review it. I had no idea it was coming. So thank you, Chris. I really do appreciate that. His information is going to be down below. I've had it for like two weeks now, so I do apologize for not sending it back sooner, but I'm going to ship it today. I've been spending a lot of time with it, getting to know it a little bit better. So this fragrance was composed by Mathilde Laurent, and she has a very extensive uh, library and body of work. So you can definitely go ahead and check her out if you wish. So this fragrance contains geranium and the geranium that's in here kind of gives this fragrance a bit of a minty vibe and of course when it comes to summertime perfumes I love my mint but this also contains a lot of other peculiar elements so you have pistachio you have mastic oil you have some green notes you have some watery nuances you have fern and oak in here as well so it's a pretty complex note breakdown I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on the overall smell let's take a look at the presentation So as I mentioned earlier, this fragrance opens up very herbal and very minty as well. But here's the thing, it's a balance of mint and grass. And so in a lot of perfumes, they use a, a molecule or a compound called cis-3-hexanol. And that kind of gives fragrances a bit of like um, a grassy aroma. I know geosmin is used to give fragrances like an earthy soil type of an aroma. I'm getting more grass and not so much soil from this one. And I think it's that earthiness coming from that grassy accord in combination with the mint that just makes this fragrance smell very realistic. Now. There's no actual mint in here, at least not that I know of. I'm sure if I look at the ingredients on the back, I'll see menthol or some other ingredient or geraniol, something that can give off a bit of a minty vibe, but there is geranium used in this fragrance and I'm getting that. So it opens up very minty, very grassy, and there's a little bit of like a nutty characteristic all the way in the back. There's this one Lardisan Parfumer fragrance that smells very strongly of like peanut. That's not the kind of nutty vibe that I'm getting from this fragrance. I'm getting more so just something very smooth, kind of adding to that green touch that this fragrance has, but it's a really strong burst of grass and geranium, which smells minty. Now, in terms of the oak that's in here, I don't get too many woodsy facets from this fragrance. And in terms of the fern, I do get that green, sort of an earthy, a foliage type of a nuance from this fragrance. So I am getting something that smells quite earthy and natural. And so I do trust that that ingredient in the note pyramid is contributing to that overall vibe or effect of this perfume. But like I said, this is a very bright, minty, slightly citrusy and refreshing fragrance for the summertime, but as opposed to other minty fragrances that I have in my collection, um, this one is a little bit more complex and this is a little bit more quirky and kind of unexpected. And so for a name like Luxuriance, um, this actually smells more grounded and down to earth as opposed to something very luxuriant and opulent and aristocratic, if you know what I mean. This smells a little bit more accommodating. Like I can expect to smell this on somebody, but the, the reason why I'm actually gravitating towards this one is 
because of that uniqueness and because it stands out. So in terms of it being this mint geranium fragrance, it's very different from Renaissance by Zerzhov. It's very different from uh, another Cartier, which contains mint called Roadster. And it's very different from uh, Aqua Decima by Eau d'Italie and these other mint types of fragrances that I've gotten my nose on. And even if we're talking about geranium, because that's specifically the ingredient in here that gives off a minty vibe or presence. It smells very different from Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Mall. So I really do appreciate the uniqueness of this fragrance. I think if you are going to uh, experiment with any fragrance from this line, especially for the summertime, it needs to be this fragrance. I actually really do like the smell, despite the fact that it's quite quirky and different and original. And I think all of those things just work in the favor of this fragrance. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, boy, is this unique. Uh, very grassy, kind of earthy, green, minty. You got that geranium in here, which I know geranium can also give off a bit of a rosy vibe. Don't get a whole lot of that in this fragrance, really more leaning on the side of refreshment. And so you're getting more of like that bright herbal, sort of camphorous, minty vibe from the fragrance that I really, really enjoy. In terms of the overall smell though, I think it's one that will appeal to a lot of people. And so it is unique, but it's also an accessible DNA, something that people around you will enjoy, in my opinion. In terms of the longevity, you can expect about six hours on your skin. The projection on this one was great for the first hour of application, actually radiated beyond an arm's length for that first half hour to one hour didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that four or five hour mark so the performance is kind of what i expected given the notes that are in this fragrance versatility is great i think it's perfectly unisex i think it gives off more of a casual vibe than a formal vibe although i can see somebody really enjoying this one in a formal scenario as well and um i am also thinking about another ingredient that i forgot to touch base on which is the note of mastic or lentisque that can kind of give off like this warm cooling resinous sensation there's a little bit of that happening in this fragrance as well and so i think it's the inclusion of that ingredient that allows you to potentially pull this one off in a dressed up scenario but i just think because of the presence of the grass and that sort of minty geranium thing it leans a little bit more casual but like i said perfectly unisex and i think anybody of any age can wear this one as well in terms of the presentation i actually do like the presentation the different colors among all of the fragrances in this collection my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of geranium fragrances if you are a fan of those minty floral compositions and you're looking for something quirky, different, and unique, definitely check out Luxuriance by Cartier, part of the Riviere line. I think it might be to your liking. If you can find this one in a store so that at the very least you can sample it before you buy it, I think that that would work to your benefit. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this review on Cartier's Luxuriance. If you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And if you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, that would mean a lot to me as well. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.